everybody. All right, what we're out here doing today is we're going to start using our gray water, which is what I explained in the first part of the recap. Uh, the gray water is the water that comes from your shower, your sink, your bath, but everything but your toilet. So instead of just letting that water go to waste, what we're doing is if you follow this hose, this hose here is connected. No workshop. <laughs> so it's here. It's connected to our exhaust system. Yeah, coming out the office. This was the black water, that was the gray water. So when we got the gray water pulled out, it lets the water flush out. So now if you follow me back, it's it's 9:30 in the morning. And the moon is out. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was about to say that. I don't know if I can see it. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, let's go back. <laughs> so, sorry for jumping. Just, just noticed that thought I saw that. <laughs> so now to follow this, what I've done is... Now this top is my beginning top test out my system. Come on up. So now in this tub here, we have dirt, we have lava rock, under that we have uh, uh, pebble rock, and then large base coarse rock. What's going to happen is all the gray water, as you can see right here, if you zoom in, boy, all the gray water is going to come through out of the RV into this thing. It's going to filter through all this. We're going to put another layer of dirt up to here. Then we're going to add worms to this. Once we add worms to this, you see the little pieces of food that are coming through? I don't know if you can see them or not. But the worms will eat the little pieces of food. Then the water will filter through all the rocks. And then it'll come out to this manifold here. Okay? And then this manifold is connected to this tub which I'll show you later. Once I get it all put together, I'm digging a hole right now. That'll come into this here manifold and then this will stay clean. And then all the fresh water will come in here. I have a spigot on here. Then I'm gonna dig another little trench for a hose and it'll have a pump. And the pump will be connected to a battery which will have a little solar panel Kind of like if you see the little solar panel on top of our roof right there, that solar panel keeps our batteries charged. It'll be a little solar panel like that that'll keep the pump battery pumped. And then I'll have from when I showed you the water tank, we got 2,500 gallons of water monthly pretty much. I'll be able to water this. I'll have grass all out here because I'll be able to water my grass. We're going to start more of a garden right here outside of the greenhouse. Um, and we'll have plenty of water and if you look back over here now you can see how the water's flowing pretty good so what we're doing is we're just using gravity to make the water come out and when the water comes out it'll filter it'll fill this up and as this gets filled up it'll flow clear into this tank so what I'm doing now is I'm digging a hole to put this one in here so as I take it down it, I don't have to worry about it freezing if it gets you know, below 30 or around 30-ish. Not just that, it'll keep my center of gravity, as you can see we're on a slant, it'll keep my center of gravity coming straight to this uh, bucket here. So as I put this one in, then this bucket, I'll just dig maybe about two inches deep, which will make it a really good slant, and then that will fit into here perfectly, and then, oh yeah! I got fresh water to water my lawn. Then everybody gonna be out here and be like, how the hell y'all got grass? <laughs> <laughs> be like the same way y'all told me we wasn't gonna have nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, I'll come back. Then the dirt we're digging out, we're gonna put in our uh, greenhouse and our high-raised beds. Because as you can see, that, that dirt's pretty good. No rocks in it, nothing like that. So, okay, I'll see you guys 
Once I, she's doing the Toby to me again today. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she just gets to always hold the camera. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys a little later once I finish this up. Hey, everybody. Well, we're making a little progress. As you can see, come on over here, honey. Kind of just stopped the water from running because it was running out. I think I got a little leak in there somewhere. But as you can see how it's filling up with water and then the water will come out of there into this tub that's gonna be right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna have is this board in here to kind of act as a foundation. I don't have a tapper, so I'm gonna have to use a sledgehammer to kind of tap it, make sure it's good and tight before I put the two by four in. Then after that, what I got is this here. It'll go in there just like this. This hose will come out. This one will be dug in about two more inches so I get a good slope. This will come out here, which I got enough room in here so I can turn it on and off if I need to. This will go into a pump. And then the pump will be in a box right here, which I have attached to a DC pump, just clips to a battery. And then the battery will be kept strong or kept charged I should say by a solar panel and then we can just cut the pump on whenever we want that hose will connect to the other side of the pump that's a hundred foot hose and as I said earlier we can water whatever the hell we want to water out here so just showing you the progress that we're coming along we see the finished product when we're done all right your name is Toby. Your name is Toby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good morning, everybody. This is, uh, I guess, almost the conclusion. We'll probably post another one after this later. But this is the finished product of my gray water system. As you can see, I got a solar panel, battery, pump in here. Okay. My honey made the box. Yes, I did. <laughs> Don't talk about my box. Y'all, he said my box had uh, cerebral, palsy. cerebral palsy. That's so not nice. That okay. is so not nice. So anyway, I did a good job making my first she box. Did. So that was her first box. <laughs> Here's our holes coming through. If you come up here, you okay, mm -hmm. can get a glance of the food particles that get caught up in the dirt. Okay? And in here we got charcoal, dirt, big rock, and small rock. Okay? There's a pipe comes in here, then the clear water comes through to here without any food particles in it. I'm gonna, we also have on here a screen that catches any dirt or food particles as well as a little piece of knit that I put over that to catch it. So then it comes out the hose, goes in the box, goes in the thing. And then out here is our finished product. Start growing our grass. If I had kids, I'd let them go play in the sprinklers. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. In January. Okay. Okay. Uh uh. <laughs> That's what's up. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add. There's a remote control that can be added to this that'll go between the battery and the pump. And I can just push it and click it when I want to cut it on so I don't have to stand around and watch it. And then just let it go when I need it to go and click it off when I want to click it off. So what we're going to have later is I'm going to add one more layer of filtration. I'm going to dig in one more layer to put another tub. And in this tub, I'm going to put all my, what is it, babe? Um, pool sand and zeolite. Pool sand and zeolite, and that'll make sure whatever soaps or chemicals that come through, those will get caught up in here, and then the third bucket will be just pure clean water. As you can see, this water has a little bit of whiteness, which is soap. 
but definitely has none of the food particles and that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add another row of dirt and then we're gonna add worms. And then the worms will eat the food particles. And that's how you have a sprinkler system in the desert. <laughs> And then we'll also add an overflow. I'll put about four 55 gallon tubs. That'll create an overflow so we can store water as we use it in case you know we don't have enough watering to do with it. But out here, we pretty much should. 